there's a lot of folks have been asking, how do I get these epic mods that you guys have been asked or been talking about? Well, it's pretty simple. You go to the campaign and missions tab, you go to your assignments, and you do the mod assignments. Okay, each one of these are mods. See how it says mod torpedo launchers, mod main battery, mod gunfire control. You'll have mod for artillery plotting room. Okay, each one of these has their own, like, requirements. So it has to be standard battle, has to be tier 7 to legendary, and then whatever else follows that is your requirements. Whether it be a specific nation you have to play, specific class, like in this case, it has to be a destroyer. So keep that in mind. But this is how you unlock it. You get through all of these, and then at the end, you get the reward. Okay? Now keep one thing in mind. While you can... Unmount these mods and move them around. Do not sell them. Okay? If you sell them, you lose them forever. Okay? So keep that in mind. You can unmount them. And the way to do this would be to come here, click on it, and you can uninstall it for 250 gold. If you sell it, you lose it forever. So keep that in mind. Alright? Now, let's get to the gameplay. Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back taking our very first look at the new, I, I say new, like, we all know what the goddamn Prince Ruprecht is, okay? It is an absolute unit, easily one of the best battleships at tier 8. Despite its fragility, it is absolute monster. But uh, that's not what we're after today. Today we're doing something a little special. We're going meme build, right? So let's take a look at it. What's so meme worthy? We're running the epic secondary mod. Yeah, yeah, this thing, this thing is nasty, okay? All right, this this ship is nasty on its own. Reduce the reload time by, by up to 20% on your secondaries. Insane, insane. Wait till you see what we do to people in this ship, all right? Now, that being said, this is a full meme build, okay? So keep that in mind. This is not a, this is a accuracy build, okay? It's not, it's not. It's, it is a meme build. This is a secondary build, okay? So we've got secondary bad moderate two, moderate two, battery mod two. We've got steering gears on this thing, which comes in real handy. And we've got the uh, concealment system mod. Uh, not the most handy considering what I generally end up doing with this ship. But uh, overall, not a, not a terrible, terrible thing either. All right, so loadout. Obviously, you guys know the deal. We're running all of the, the normal stuff. We can't change anything here, so there's that. Uh, but the main thing to remember is with the artillery. Our secondaries reach out to 11.8 kilometers with this build. And they're German secondaries, meaning you have a lot of them. Okay, you have 20 105 millimeter secondaries, which of themselves probably not that big a deal, right? They reload every 2.7 seconds as is. Doing a maximum of 1200 damage with a 5% chance to set fire. Then you have the 150 mil or the 150 millimeter 55 caliber secondaries. You get another 12 of those that reload every six seconds. That puts out to uh, 1,700 damage per uh, damage per hit and 8% chance to set fires. Okay, so you at any given moment you can have up to 16 secondaries firing off either side of the ship. Okay, and they start with a base reload of six seconds, and we're going to reduce that by 20%. Intrigued? I know I was. Now, again, the rest of the stats don't matter. You already know this thing is squishy. We're running the hide build, as you can see. We've got Haruna on here, and we've got Franz von Hipper on here. Both of these are secondary inspirations. Haruna, secondary guns range, and secondary battery dispersion. And then, of course, Franz von Hipper, secondary gun range, and secondary battery grouping. So we get a double dose of just absolute nastiness. And then we're running flammable cannon here, which you could you could argue dropping this, obviously. Porcupine, because secondaries gives you extra gun range for your secondaries, better grouping and better dispersion. So again, stacking all the things to make these the most nasty secondaries in the game. 
It isn't even close, folks. I always talked about the, the American secondaries being the most accurate in the game, and I, that is still the truth. The, the American secondaries, when they do trigger, are more accurate, but only just, and they're not as effective as these are. Um, now, against Bismarck, Frederick DeGrosa, Turpitz, uh, Brandenburg, uh, all of those, uh, Grosa first, all of those, they spread the love. They, the shells go everywhere when they're firing their secondaries. You see this gigantic grouping of just secondaries going everywhere. They're not the scariest secondaries to be on the receiving end of. This thing, if you're in a destroyer and I trigger my secondary booster on you, you're going to have a bad time. I'm just saying. You're going to have a bad time. You're in a cruiser and I trigger my secondary booster on you. You're going to have a bad time. If you're in a battleship, you're going to have a bad time regardless because my secondaries aren't going to miss you and they're going to be setting fires the entire time. <laughs> so with that all being said, you're about to watch my best game in the Ruprecht yet. And this is with a meme build. Keep this in mind. I set out in this video to make a specific type of video. And I ended up with my best game yet. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be glorious. So, with that being said, let's get to the gameplay. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Riposte, and this is the newest map that they just added to the game. And we're in the meme build Prince Ruprecht. And we are going to have our greatest game in this yet. But Spartan, didn't you just post a video that was from a live stream where you put up 211,000 damage? Yes, and this is going to eclipse that. And it's going to be better in every way. Wait, what? How? You did so well. Well, here's the thing. This game is going to uh, probably sway a lot of you guys into playing the Ruprecht. And I want to caution you guys. First of all, I'm not the go-to guy when it comes to watching German battleships, all right? I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm not that comfortable in them. I try to do things a little too aggressively, and I usually end up dying pretty early a lot when I'm trying to make these videos. And today is no doubt, or no, ch no different. I have played uh, three games, I think, prior to this. One of them was in a uh, repub, and I have a video for that coming up, because repub is just stupid. Like, it's, it's incredibly good. Uh, not quite as good as this video is going to be, but it's a pretty fun match. And then the other two were failed attempts at uh, being a little bit too suicidal. <laughs> so, here's the deal. In the first match, I took it out. I got two brothers. And I got, okay, I'll just move forward. I had a destroyer out on my left side. I'm thinking, okay, we got this. Nobody was spotted. Everything was fine. The only one that was spotted was an FDG. And I'm thinking, Psh, I'll go up against an FDG 1v1 any day of the week in this thing. So I start rolling in. And then just as I start to commit, lo and behold, a Yami pops up. Boink! Half my health gone. Then, not just that, then a Conqueror shows up. And I'm on a double fire, so I put that out. And then I'm like, I just screwed up, so I'm just going to go for the, the home run and kill this freaking FDG and move on. I open up the angle to use the torpedoes, because at this point, I am like point freaking blank. All of my torpedo tubes get destroyed before I launch them. I was like, what the heck, man? I get it. The, the world does not want this video to happen. But, turns out, the world just didn't want it to happen just yet. Things had to be perfect, and this match is perfect. This is one of those matches you just dream about. And so, uh, I hope you guys are ready. I've been hyping it up, but this one's going to be good. It's got it all. Spartan, what do you mean it's got it all? I mean, it's got big hits. It's got torpedoes. It's got destroyers getting destroyed. It's got all the things. Speaking of destroyers and, and, and smoke screens and, and all of that, there's a turpitz coming out, and there's also an angry smoke screen that isn't very big. And I get eight torpedoes per side. And unlike most German torpedoes, especially on battleships, these are longer range torpedoes. Now, the downside is we don't exactly have the ability to have our, um, our guns be accurate, okay? So don't count on the main guns doing a whole lot of damage in this one. This one's going to be mostly secondaries. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean, Spartan? 
I mean, this damage that you're about to see, with the exception of one or maybe two shots, is almost all secondaries. <laughs> Because I wanted to make a video for you guys that would be fun and different. All right, I try to mix it up for you guys. I play a lot of different stuff. I know a lot of people are like, well, Spartan, you just play a lot of American ships. No, I play everything. By the way, that was a torp hit on a destroyer who's sitting in a smoke screen. And it should have been a dev strike, but he gets away. Fortunately for us, our secondaries are already on the case. And down he goes, giving us our first blood and our first close quarters. Wait, what? Did he just say first close quarters? Yes, there will be others. <laughs> so, uh, get ready. But Turpitz is like, anything you can do to the, the left side of my ship, you can do to the right side because I'll turn the other cheek. And so he does just that. And the fact that this guy is going to survive for a quite a while is actually sad and pathetic. Notice my secondaries showing me, hey, there's a Hayate on my left. Maybe I should pay attention to that. Secondary boosters rolling. Let's see how much damage they do to this man. Look at his health just evaporate from these secondaries. It's just gone. Then we fire the front guns, at, or the rear guns, the front guns, all the guns. The secondaries are chewing this man apart. He is doing everything in his power to disappear, but unfortunately we light a fire on him, and that lights him right back up and allows our secondaries to go right back to work. And uh, unfortunately for him, that's the end of his game. That's right, two close quarters medals inside the first four minutes of the game. <laughs> yep. It's, it's that way, guys. This thing's disgusting. And, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we've already got the first buff to our secondary's uh, reload time. So now they're going to be reloading even faster. And, uh, very quickly, we're going to have another buff. Now, this Marco Polo takes the bait, opens fire, so his, his being in the smokescreen completely negated. He opens the angle up here. We're going to fire the first set of guns at him. We're going to get ready to fire the second set of guns at him. Look at the secondaries! Dude, these little, these little freaking secondaries, even the 105s are doing damage. It's disgusting, but so good. Now, unfortunately, Hayate manages to kill the Marco Polo with his torpedo. Well done to him, but uh, we're not done yet, folks. I know what you're thinking. Spartan, you've done an incredible job so far of just sitting still and letting the enemy come to you. This is what we always try to talk to you about when you play your German battleships with secondaries. You always get too aggressive, you get a little a little overextended, but now you're letting the game come to you a little bit. I wish I could do this more often, but a lot of times, just not the way the game works. But uh, here, this is going to be more Spartan-esque. Look at the positioning of the enemy Neptune. We saw him at the beginning of the game, so that's how I know who it is. Look at him. He's just waiting for it. So I'm like, oh my god, I can't pass this up. And he's even got the target camo. It's like he knows. It's like, please, shoot here. Will do. Unfortunately, we only get one Citadel. But it's okay, because now we're letting the secondaries on both sides of the ship start to do their thing. So we're going to move forward. We're going to try to get the guns on the right. And you'll notice that this thing, one of the, the good things about the Ruprecht is that rear turret is a 360 degree turret. Notice I don't put out this double fire right away. When you have limited damage cons, you can't afford to do that. Plus, I'm anticipating potentially taking the Torp here. So we got to hold our fire for now. But uh, we, we come around the corner, we can blast him. There is no chance he survives that twice. Like, you, you get lucky once, okay? But uh, we get hit here. That was a triple fire. We go ahead and put that out. And now we fire the uh, the one gun that we do have. We dodge by sheer luck these deep water torps. I did not anticipate these deep water torps at all. I just by sheer dumb luck got away with it by being able to go right through the middle of them. And that turn saved our bacon. But uh, watch what I'm going to do here. I've got the, the one gun, or I've got all my mains focusing on the Vanguard. I've got the secondaries focusing on the Turpets to my left and the Repub that's over there. So I'm literally just sitting here letting the secondaries do what they do. Like, I didn't want to shoot these guys right now. I wanted just to see what happens. Like, this is part of what gets me into trouble sometimes is because I will literally just try to get the video someday. There are days where there are specific things that I want to try to do. And you're not going to stop me from trying to do that. But I just sit here. I let my, my secondaries do what they're going to do. And uh, we fire occasionally. But at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. I was kind of waiting for the Harbin to maybe come out. That's why I was saving my guns for so long. 
Uh, but Harbin decides he wants to sit there. We've got our, our freaking sonar running, so his Torpedo torps are no lost. threat to us at all. Like, we knew it was coming. That's why we put up the sonar. Uh, we're also going to keep him detected inside his smoke screen, so he's not going to be able to hide. Um, we did lose one set of torps against the turpits here, so we're going to go ahead and fire our guns at the turpits, try to help knock him out of this fight. We got the secondaries going. We left him alive. Are we going to get a third close quarters? No, the Neptune yoinks it. That was ours. That was ours, man. We did all the damage to that man. That was ours. But no, we don't get it. Now watch. We, he, we've we got him spotted. We don't have to fire our guns here. Uh, I fire the, the torpedoes, and I'm like, okay, I, I need, I've never actually shot this thing, so I go ahead and shoot him just to see what I can do to him. And uh, that baits him into shooting his torps. We did take the torps from the, the turpids. I completely f***ed that up. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, I was so worried about the Harbin, I completely forgot about the tur the turp the torps from the turpits. But, uh, yeah. Fortunately, the Harbin, before he dies, he gives us a nice little smoke screen to get a little reprieve. We get another heal off. We're going to be able to heal. And uh, Iowa is begging for it. So we're going to aim high, try to help our buddy out on the other side of the map. I have no idea what they're doing over there, but I'm guessing that the or the friendly um, repub is doing the same thing that I'm doing, which is just letting the secondaries do secondary things. Uh, the secondary mod uh, challenges have got some people doing some interesting things for sure. But you can see we do make a, a decent chunk on them, getting us up to 211. We've already broke our, our personal record, and we still ain't done yet. Letting the secondaries keep shooting it at the uh, the Vanguard. Meanwhile, we shoot at the Iowa. He goes down right before we do. Giving the arsonist to the repub, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but then we're going to go ahead and open the angle and let all our secondaries go to go to town. As if we haven't had enough secondary hits. I don't know if you noticed, this is a new secondary record for me as well. I've never had over 400 secondary hits in a game. Ever. Like, this is new territory for me. But uh, unfortunately, Hayate once again manages to finish off the, the guy that we were hoping to farm a little bit more damage on. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was a crazy game. 215,000 with only a single torpid on that destroyer at the beginning of the game. But all of the medals. We had two close quarters. We had First Blood, High Cow, Dreadnought, uh, Fireproof. We had a... Uh, confederate we had all the things so let me know what you guys think over 3200 base xp as well so if you like what i'm doing punch the like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video